Advancing Sustainable Living. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 485. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our July 10th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is advancing sustainable living. Uh, everything you see happening in the background of the video here is what one community is open sourcing and free sharing in our goal of advancing sustainable living. And to make it as comprehensive as possible, we've taken the physical foundations of sustainability and we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that we feel will provide a way of living that is far superior to the way that most people are living right now. And our goal is to make that easy enough, affordable enough, and by demonstrating it as attractive enough, it will spread on its own. And so we talk about creating teacher demonstration hubs designed to create additional teacher demonstration hubs, like solution models designed to create additional solution creating models so that the idea and the concept can become self-replicating and include everybody on the planet that would like to participate. And so to achieve that goal, to, and to achieve the most important aspect, foundation of that goal, which is the attractive enough components so that people are motivated, so people are driven to make a difference in the world, to replicate what you see happening in the background of this video and so much more than that, and to, to, to evolve and improve upon that, create other iterations and versions of that that we haven't even considered, we ha are taking the physical foundations of sustainability and combined with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create that space that will be considered by most people to be better than the way they're living right now, to create that motivation, that drive. And so the physical foundations of sustainability everybody's familiar with, right? They're food, energy, and housing. But the emotional foundations of sustainability that are arguably even more important are fulfilled living practices, what we call highest good approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And by putting all these things together, we can create a comprehensively, radically sustainable environment that meets all the needs of the people that are living there. And so when we talk about advancing sustainable living, it's really about this. It's really about the, the. I mean, it includes, of course, the physical foundations. You know, we're making advances in the food, the energy, the housing, all those are being improved upon as well. And we're open sourcing that. But this is the magic. The fulfilled living practices, the highest good education models, the highest good economic models, and the true stewardship and putting that together to create an environment that nurtures the soul that nurtures the individual, that better supports us than the way, uh, than the models right now. Like most people don't really know the communities that they live in. And a lot of people don't know their neighbors. You know, a lot of people don't really interact with their communities, but they want that. You know, they want community. They want that feeling of connection. They want that feeling of, of their lives meaning for something. They want that feeling of, of being a part of something. And so we're creating that. We're creating a place where people with shared values and shared goals can come together, live in community, and cooperate and collaborate on creating the most amazing living experience possible and then sharing that. That's one community's goal. Now other people might have different goals, but we're open sourcing and free sharing it. So if, if the goal were to create a community dedicated to knitting and people just wanted to be the best darn knitters in the world, they could do that. They could dedicate their lives to that. And as crazy as that sounds, people might be thinking like, knitting, what a silly example. But imagine if you had a community that were dedicated to knitting and you brought the people that were the best knitters in the world together and their goal was to knit and share their knitting with the world in such a way that it would support them financially so that all they had to do, all they got to do, all they, their only real, real responsibility was living and knitting and enjoying and sharing their gift with the world. Would that work? Would that be a contribution to society? Would that make the world a better place to have the most amazing knitting environment in the world so that 
people that were just dedicated, wanted to dedicate their lives to this craft and being the best in the world had a place where they could go and interact with other people that shared that idea and then being able to produce something there that they would be able to share with the world and generate enough revenue so that they could basically live their passion and their desire for the rest of their lives. Would that be amazing? Yes, that would be amazing. And of course, it doesn't mean that that's all they would do. The point is that there would be a place where if that's what they really wanted to do, they could. And so one community's passion, one community's version of knitting and our, is advancing sustainable living. It's about creating a place where we can come together and create a better world for everybody, where our complete environment is building ecosystems, it's build, building biodiversity, it's creating more than it takes, it's giving more than it takes, it's supporting our local environment, our community environment, our regional environment, and the planet by creating open source and free shared tools and resources that create a better world for everybody and evolving all that so there's something there for everyone. And the ultimate expression of that is the teacher demonstration community, village, city, building to a city, the hub, designed to replicate itself so that we can work in cooperation and collaboration with others around the world interested in advancing sustainable living as well. And by doing that, we can create the foundation so that that knitting community can come to be if that's what somebody wants. Or maybe people want a community dedicated to music and art. Or maybe people want a community that's dedicated to the advancement of building refrigerators. You know, or maybe people want a community that's dedicated to to, to health and fitness or, or development of our debate skills or whatever it may be. Maybe they want a community that's just dedicated to sitting out in the woods and playing bongos and relaxing all day long and just, just you know, enjoying peace. It could be whatever people want. And so we're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for that so people know exactly how much that would cost, exactly how much time it would take, and then if people want to dedicate their time and energy to do that, they have everything necessary to do that. They could pool their resources and figure out exactly how many people they would need to bring together and what the resources would be to be able to replicate that, and then they become a part of advancing sustainable living as well, be it with their their knitting community or their music community or whatever it is built on a, on a foundation of sustainability using the plans that we're creating, it's an example of what's possible. And so when we talk about creating something for everybody, everything we're creating is modular, so people could take just a little component of that if they wanted to grow healthier food or build, build a home that doesn't have toxic materials uh, incorporated into it as an example, or start a home-based education program as an example, or contribute some way to you know, uh, stewardship, like through our recycling tutorials or things like that, whatever it is that people want. We're trying to create something so everybody has access. And because it's created with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on the planet to the best of our ability, every little bit that somebody participates in moves us a step closer to global sustainability. And that is our ultimate goal, is creating something for everybody and getting closer and closer and achieving that tipping point, that critical mass of participation so that we have a sustainable planet and building what it is that we're creating so that it can simultaneously address and have the flexibility to address future challenges, the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. Everybody's invited to participate. And yeah, so if you like this sort of thing, if you'd like to have a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox, uh, subscribe, ring that bell and uh, follow our progress. Thanks for watching to the end. If you'd like to see the specifics, the details of everything that our all-volunteer team has created within the last, just the last week, visit our written blog. If you'd like to just have access to all the tools and tutorials, some of which are completely done, like all of the recycling tutorials as an example, or the open source education program, and all the other things about housing and and food infrastructure, things like that, visit our written blog. And of course, if you'd like to help out and get involved, visit our helping page. There's lots of ways to get involved for everybody. Um, we are here, we are creating this, and if you want to be a part of world change with us, get involved. You are invited. So visit our helping page, see all the different ways to do that. So with that said, this is what we're about, advancing sustainable living and how we're doing it. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.